Chinese martial arts are based on observing the way of nature. And such style is characterized by the elegant and elusive movements of the crane. Welcome to Tan Dao for the Evolving Martial Artist. I'm Lawrence Tan. And today I'm excited because we're going to share with you animal kung fu techniques. Most of you know that kung fu animal movements are usually considered advanced techniques. In fact, many martial artists feel they're impractical for self-defense. Therefore, it's important that you first have a foundation with punching and kicking so that you already know how to spar and you already know self-defense. Then you can build and play around with these advanced techniques. Today we're going to show you a moving meditation exercise which is a basic crane exercise. Now, stand, feet shoulder width, you can turn your toes in so you're pigeon toed. I want you to grip the floor with your toes. Squeeze your butt, drop down so you're tight. Spine is straight, chin in. And there's going to be four motions. One, two, three, four. Up, down, out, in. Four motions. Now I'm going to show you the hand position. This is the crane head. Using the wrist. The wrist could strike soft areas, it strike the sternum, the ribs. The fingertips drawn together like you're holding a tea bag is a crane beak and the crane uses its beak to strike as a weapon. When you develop the strength in your fingertips and learn how to use this, it's very effective against vital areas on the head and neck and soft areas of the body. We also have the wings of the crane. First motion is the descending motion we're using the knife hand, but it's a loose wrist action. The next wing position is using the inside of the palm, coming in here. So you have four motions. One, rising up, crane head, crane beak. Two, crane wing, using the wrist. Three, crane head. Four, wing. Up, down, out, in. Let's try that. Again, feet shoulder width, curl your toes in, so you're pigeon toed. Bend your knees, squeeze your butt, grip the floor with your toes. Shoulders up, back and down, chin in so your spine is straight. And with me. One, two, three, four. Up, down, out, in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Simple exercise, four motions. Keep practicing it. Now make this part of your life. It should supplement your own regular martial art training. Do it while you're watching TV. Do it when you have a free moment, waiting for the coffee to get ready. You just go through the motions. Do about 10 repetitions, rest, and do another 10 repetitions. The important thing is don't do it fast and don't worry about power. The emphasis is on learning the correct hand position and creating a reflex action so that you want to do it over and over and over again. Keep practicing and we're going to bring it to another level next time. See you again.